Okay, so number 13 is the large sum problem. And this one's got a very, very simple description. It says, work out the first 10 digits of the sum of the following 150 digit numbers. So we have 100 of these 50 digit numbers um, laid out in a nice list like this. And what it says is that uh, we have to work out the sum. We have to work out the first 10 digits of whatever that sum is. And uh, if you want to get this uh, 50 digit numbers in an array of strings like this, uh, you can just look at the written guide because I've already put that there. But um, we also have this test sums, uh, test nums uh, nested array as well. So that's just got two 50 digit numbers. So we basically have to implement this uh, function called large sum. So I'll say let uh, large sum. And it takes in an array of numbers or in this case, it's not really an array of numbers. It's an array of uh, strings that represent 50 digit numbers. And uh, in terms of testing, what I'm just going to have here is something like console.log um, result is, and um, I forgot the name of the function, it's called large sum. So large sum, and uh, we're going to try it with the test nums first. So let's put that in there. Okay, so uh, in terms of how we're going to go about doing this, I'm just going to be just, uh, I'm not going to get too technical with this one. I'm going to be using a bunch of pre-built JavaScript methods. Uh, if you're doing other languages, there might be similar methods in those. So this isn't really that algorithmical, we're just mainly just doing it um, through JavaScript methods. So the first thing I'm going to have is a variable called first um, 100 digits, first 10 digits. And I'm going to default that to an empty string. And then I'll have another variable called sum string. And I'll default that to an empty string. You'll see where these get used in a second. And then I'll say um, a variable called sum, and that's going to be a number, and I'll default that to zero. So the first thing we're going to do is basically go through this array of numbers, and we're just basically going to sum together all the numbers. So this one will sum these two 50 digit numbers, and in the next one will sum. Uh, 100 of these 50 digit numbers. So what we'll do here is say uh, for the array of numbers that we took in up here uh, for for each number um, That should be number What we want to do here is we want to say sum equals sum plus and To convert these num these strings because remember these are strings into numbers We can just say pass int and we can put the number in like this um, again, this is this complication only arises if you have your numbers as strings. If you just have them as numbers, which I doubt you will, because these numbers are huge, um, you could just do just plus sum plus number like this. So the next thing we're going to do is basically, um, if we were to just uh, actually let's just uh, I'll just show you what the problem is. So if I do console dot log um, sum like this. And then I run the function. We can see that we get our representation in standard form like this. So this is right here is the problem because it wants us to get the first 10 digits of the sum and we can't really get it when it's in the standard form like this. So what we have to do is make sure that it displays normally. So this is where we'll set up our sum string, which remember was an empty string. And the way we do that is we'll say sum dot and in the number you call a method called it to locale string and what we can do is basically give it some uh, properties that we want the string to have the first argument for this is the locale and I'm just gonna call put in full wide here and full wide just basically means that uh, we want to basically display all the numbers and we don't want it to be in standard form and the next thing we'll give is an options object and we'll just have an option called use grouping and use grouping basically means that if if we want to put commas for thousands for example or decimal points or whatever and we just want to make sure that this is set to full so we get a full number so if I were to run this and I'm gonna log the sum string instead uh, and then I run this we can see that we get our full number right here so that's good I guess um, Actually, that looks a bit weird, but 
it should be all right because um yeah it should be fine i think it's big i don't know why it's coming up with all these zeros but anyway we're only looking for this first 10 digits so we have our sum strings now so the next thing to do is basically set our first 10 digits and we can just say first 10 digits equals sum string dot and we can use the string slice method here and we can say 0 10 and that will give the first 10 characters and put them into this first 10 digits and then all we want to do is basically just return the first 10 digits but since this is a string what we want to do is we want to use the pass int method and this is a vanilla JavaScript method and we want to give it this first 10 digits string like this and this will convert that string into an integer and then return that so let's try running this now and we can see that we have this 84 number right here and let's try it with this large uh, 50 digit sum one right here so let's put 50 digit nums and run that and we can see that we get the 5537 number right here the first 10 digits so yeah that's basically our solution right there so again I'll explain what it does so for each of these numbers what we do is we'll add its value to this sum number variable right here then we'll convert sum into a string that will store in some string and we'll have some properties here to make sure that we get the full number then we'll slice the string to get the first 10 digits of the sum and then we'll convert that into an integer and return it again this isn't the probably the most like advanced way of doing it because we're using a string slice method which might not always be available if we're just working with numbers but um, for this we should be able to get away with it and in terms of the official problem it's exactly the same as a free code cam problem so it's just once the first 10 digits of this sum so we can go ahead and copy that from our terminal right here and submit that to be checked and we can also go ahead and submit the function so if I just copy this function and I can just replace it right here um, one thing I'm kind of concerned about is the fact that it says large sum 50 digits and uh, nums but the 50 digit nums array hasn't actually been defined here so I'm just gonna open up the uh, developer tools and I just want to make sure that it doesn't throw an error and if that's the case we can provide the uh, array ourselves so just wait for this to get initialized and let's clear this out and let's try uh, running it don't know what it's doing here yeah no it seems to have accepted our solution so that's fine so we we got that submitted and in terms of the official problem yep we have provided the right answer right there so that should be a uh, problem 13 completed